morning. How you all doing today? It is so cold in Atlanta. Oh, my gosh. And I prayed to Jesus. I was like, Lord, keep me warm. But he's being faithful that I'm not necessarily freaking cold. <laughs> I'm not cold. So, amen, whatever. But I pray in Jesus' name that you all have uh, been a great student and went before God and really allowed the Holy Spirit to uh, – teach you guys through part one and part two. Like I said, I won't review over what's been said due to the time and limiting time. Amen. So I'm going to try to, you know, you all just work with me. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you guys just work with me. All right. I want you to do this. The new points that I want you to write down is, what I want you to write down? Newness. Amen. Write down newness. Write down newness, reconciliation, and seek the lost. Amen. And I will have um, scriptures to back both, uh, excuse me, all three parts of what God is trying to tell us. Amen. And for newness, we're going we're gonna to write down, you can put an arrow, like I said, for the sake of time, because I want to use this majority of the time to do something that God has given me illustration for. So I'm so excited for it. But for newness, we're going to put down 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, where the Bible tells us that, um, that, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. So now we know newness is tied to 2 Corinthians 5.17. And the second thing that I want you to write down is reconciliation. Amen. And that scripture can be found in 2 Corinthians 5 and 18, where the Bible has told us that he has given us a spirit of, or the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. And the third point that I had you to write down is to seek the lost. Because the Bible tells us also with the ministry of reconciliation that because all you're saying, reconciliation, the definition is to bring back, to, yeah, to bring back to his original owner. Amen. And I just love that. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and we can put that as Second Corinthians 5 and 19. Hallelujah. So I pray in, God, in Jesus' name that you all are taking notes or even having to hers and let the Holy Spirit use you guys. Amen. And like I said, I pray in Jesus' name that I am not forcing and I'm not rushing. But like I said, limit time, I have to honor every faith level. And every faith level is like, just give me the word and I'll go. So, cool, got you. I'm working on it. So pray for me. <laughs> pray for me that Jesus will use me. But the last point that I want you all to write down, do me a favor, write, write it down. Because I, I want you guys to really, 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 really get it. And it is called the interchangeable. Excuse me if I'm, my face is all in it, but I want you all to get it. The interchangeable um, interchangeable relationship in Christ. Amen. Interchangeable relationship in Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stand all the way in the back. Excuse me for moving my props over. <laughs> and this is lovely the hanger. Check me out. Yes. We're going to use the illustration, and I want you guys to write this down, interchangeable relationship in Christ. Hallelujah. And interchangeable is basically, we're going to start from the right to the left, amen. And it means the ability, the ability to change, to change, hallelujah, to change. Hold on. I got to make sure I'm saying this correctly so I don't get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, the ability to change mutually because at first, because in my head I was thinking about a circle with that circumference. I apologize if I'm getting on your nerves for being so perky. But um, ability to change mutually, amen. And the, let's turn, well, write this down in your notes. Uh, John 14 and 10, amen. Well, actually it's 11, yeah. Is 11. And the Bible tells us, because it's going to, I skipped a couple parts in the scripture, but something that Jesus said that was very profound that I think that we all as believers should know and get it written on our heart, which states, hallelujah, that I am, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. So it is basically bringing everything that we've learned about being new, reconciling and seeking the lost. Amen. And now that we have, we're knowing the, the connection between the Father and the the son and a believer, amen. So just like I kind of showed you on the on the side, this is God the Father. Yeah, that'd be right. Um, this is the this is Jesus, the Son of God, and this is a believer. Hallelujah. And I pray in Jesus' name that you just visualize. Let's be optimistic. Let's not be like, oh, that's a hanger. What are you talking about? 
give me two seconds, please. Just, just, you know, don't kill the messenger, please. Okay. <laughs> so God the Father in Jesus. So we already know, according to uh, uh, John 14, that uh, the Son of God, Jesus, is in the Father, and the Father is in Jesus. Amen. And now... Now that we are, um, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man be in Christ, so we're in Christ. So once we are in Christ, hallelujah, now we're in God. I want you guys to get that. And I know you're like, but this part is there. The only way that you can have a connection with God, it has to first be through Jesus. Remember yesterday? Amen. We have to get that part down because people feel like you can go into a big circle and feel like you can go through a window. The devil is like, the Bible tells us that we will be known as what? A thief and a robber. We don't want to be labeled as that. We will, ha we will be doing a spiritual felony. We don't want that. Amen? So I just bless God for this illustration. So once again, God the Father, Son of God, Jesus, believer. But we first have to have the interchangeable the ability to uh, change mutually. So we are now in Christ. Christ is in us. But if we're in Christ, now we're in God, and God is in us. Amen. So I just bless God for this cute and simple illustration. Amen. And I just bless God once again for the attentiveness and the, um, what's the word I want to use? the faithfulness that you all may have. And I'm telling you, you guys just watch and see. God is going to shoot us up. I mean, shoot us up like never before. Shoot wigs up like never before. God is really using this generation to really proclaim his name. Amen. But before I end, so I can stay on, on topic and, and uh, you know, in timing, God wants us to be like this. Amen. Remembering that Jesus' blood is just like bleach. God is wanting us to be squeaky and clean and white. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just want to let you guys know I love you so much. Have a blessed day. And remember, follow me as I follow Christ. I could play the background. I could play the background. Cause I know sometimes I get in the way. So won't you take the lead? lead, lead, lead. So won't you take the lead? lead, lead, lead. And I could play.